All right, guys, as you can see, bike's back indoors. Um, if you can remember, I changed my clutch about a month or so ago. Um, since then, the clutch has been working perfectly fine uh, in, in the sense that it's engaging and disengaging and uh, doing what a clutch should be doing and no funny noises and whatnot. The only thing, um, the only issue I've been having is a bit of a strange one. Um, the clutch free play. Every time I ride it, I'm, I'm having to adjust the free play. I mean, it's... it's Every time I I um, start the bike up in the morning, I check the free play and it seems to be slightly off. Either it's too loose or it's too tight. So then I'm adjusting it. Then when I'm when, when I'm even riding, there's times when in the middle of my ride, it I'm having to adjust it even in the middle of my ride because it, it gets slightly loose or too tight and whatnot. I've adjusted it several times from the um, the bottom end. Um, so I I just don't know. I mean. Um, it can't be the clutch cable because if it was the cable if the cable was overstretched or if there was something wrong with it it wouldn't be working fine at times and then sometimes not working properly so i really don't think it's the cable but what i think i may have done when i changed the clutch um initially is um right at the uh, back of the clutch pack there was a ring it was it's called a judder spring I may have put that in the wrong way. So I put it in flat rather than pointing outwards so it can behave like a spring. That's the only thing that I can think of that's in the back of my mind. So I'm not gonna be able to get that out of my mind until I open this all up and uh, check um, if I've put that in, in the right way. If I haven't and I put it in the right way and it all works, great. Um, so hopefully I'm gonna do that now. Obviously you don't need to see all this if you wanna see how you take all this off and whatnot you can see my uh, other video um but for now i'll i'll get in there and once i'm in there i'll i'll show you what i find this, as you can see i've got my ninja sitting there at the back i wanted to start on that but fortunately i can't you got to do what you got to do um i got this delivery through it's for the ninja so let me know what you guys think is in this little box my first little mod all right guys so Taken off the uh, clutch cover, so now is the moment of truth. I'm gonna start taking out the plates. Be careful not to go ahead and this plates are already starting to come off. I'm gonna. This is where I need to make sure everything comes out in order. I'm gonna place them in order so that they can go back in order. As you can see, the plates. Um, it's looking in good shape and should be it's only like a month or two old um i'll take these two together and put them down so they can go back in same let's, let's have a look at the uh, friction plate uh, looking all right i'm gonna make sure that they go in exactly as they're coming out inshallah there's quite a few coming out together oh wow if I could get them all out together, then that's... I'm not going to complain about that. So I can't... I need to make sure that... A good bunch of them came out together. Have a look at that. Uh, so... Good few of them coming out together, so I don't know what that means. Is that a good sign, bad sign? Not sure. And that's the last one. I can tell because it's, it's the smallest one. And then we'll, it will be the moment of truth. Look at that, that looks fine as well. Seems to be wearing okay. So, so far so good. Now, it's the moment of truth. And as I suspected, I'm gonna show you right now. That's, that judder spring, hopefully you can see it. 
hopefully you can see it is in flat ways and that was supposed to be the other way around i'll show you in a second let me take that out when i take it out you'll see what i mean and i was actually hoping that was the case because that should i hope resolve my issue when i take it out you will see there we go as you can see it went in um flat ways when it should have been acting like a screw it should have been going in this way and acting like a a spring this is ever slow this is slightly grooved and it's supposed to be a spring and that was in the wrong way so bismillah hopefully now that's in the right way let me try to show you as you can see it's supposed to be a spring so i'll put it in flat and smooth now there's a gap in between so if there's pressure there it will act like a spring yeah bismillah so hopefully gonna put all this back now and we see how that goes and i'm pretty sure that was definitely my issue and hopefully that resolves it all right guys so there you have it i've loaded all the plates back up um I should really take my own advice when I told you guys to put everything back exactly as you uh, took it off. Um, when I took it off last time, I did notice the uh, judder spring was slightly grooved. But um, when I put it back, I just assumed, I couldn't remember, I wasn't sure, but I just assumed it goes back in, um, groove side in, and it sits flush, which it obviously doesn't, and it gave me the um, symptoms that I described to you. So hopefully... Um, hopefully that was the issue i'm pretty confident that it is and um hopefully if you do get those kind of symptoms maybe if you did do your clutch you can look to uh towards the uh, judder spring um and once again obviously you live and learn and uh, the lesson is if you choose to do this pay close attention to how everything comes off so that you can put it back exactly how you took it off so hopefully this helps uh let me know Peace.